so Vicky's here doing the cleaning. I'm trying to stay awake. It's my siesta time. So I thought I'd do this vlog that I've been thinking about to keep myself awake. Um, I went out for a blood test this morning and when I came back I remembered, I think about this quite a lot actually, seatbelts. And I was talking to Vicky about it just now and she thinks it's to do with my height being short. So if I haven't got um, a clip on the seatbelt that stops it from retracting completely, I end up every 20 seconds with the seatbelt across my neck. Um, and I thought it was to do with me being big boobs. I also thought it was to do with me having narrow shoulders. It could be that as well. But I was coming home from art last week and I must have had something slippery, slightly slippery on. I can't remember what I was wearing. And, this, and when I'm the driver, I'm aware of it and it comes across here. When I'm the passenger, I'm holding the seatbelt. I noticed Thing the other week. I was watching, oh, what's her name? I was watching another short fat woman comedian. I did talk about her when I had I had I watched when I watched it. I was watching her in a London taxi and she was hanging on to the seatbelt the way I hang on to the seatbelt. And I'm wondering why um over the years that that hasn't been resolved. The seatbelts in our car are adjustable, so I can bring the seatbelt down on the door pillar. But that's still not enough. It's still I still end up being strangled by the seatbelt every time I move or every time I don't move. It just goes and slides up and, and cuts across here. So I had clips and um, eventually I had them two or three years and then they, they wore down and wouldn't hold any longer. And I can't get that style of clip now. I ordered some more clips on Amazon, but they needed um, opening and closing and I couldn't do that with my, my, my hands. So I need to search for something else because it is terribly annoying in this day and age to be still struggling with something that's made for an average person. <laughs> Just, it really is, isn't it? Life is built around, kitchens are built around a certain height and I am not that height. Um, cupboards all oh, the the guys that put the bathroom in upstairs when we were talking to them um about the height of the unit they were putting in they said that the height of the units in france have actually in recent years have increased they used to be shorter so that's intriguing so that you know that's evolved um i'm not sure whether that unit's the right height for me i can remember being in a hotel couple of years ago where you know where the sink space is really lovely and it's got all tiles around it but the the gap between me and the, and my fat and the sink and the tiles in between is just so much I can't reach the sink again too short so that's what I wanted to say I've been meaning to talk about it it's really warm out here this is meant to be the blue belle journée this week and it certainly is, it's, it's lovely. It's quite windy. I had the back door open earlier when I was um, dishing up some sushi and um, it was really quite breezy coming through there, but there was a wasp that I was trying to allow out. So I've got two lots of bedding to wash. Both the beds are now made up. So that's a good thing. Um, I'm still doing a bit of paperwork, but I'm nearly there. And today is Wednesday. We're both going to art tomorrow. And because um, Mark didn't go yesterday because we went out. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're both going to go to art tomorrow and then we'll pack on Friday. What else are we going to do Friday? I've got two, two or three things, large, two bags and a couple of boxes of stuff that need to go to Emmaus. I think we're going to go and do that as well on Friday. Um, because we can, because we've got time, and I just need to pick up a bit more, a bit more chicken food and a bit more Harry's bread for Ida, and then that's it really. So that's it. It's a bit short. Thank you, Roger, for your email. Roger the nerd. I'm going to call you Roger the nerd, and then you'll know who you are. I have another Roger friend who's a nerd, so don't worry. Maybe it's a common thing with Rogers. I don't know. But thank you for your email. 
I've attended to your um, insight and done some things about it and replied and told you what I've done. So thank you for that. That's really useful. Uh, apart from that, thanks for the other emails. I got a thank you from um, Mama Motsi, Motsi, the young student who died. I got a thank you from her grandmother for um, my donation to the, um, what's it called? The It's not a GoFundMe, it was something else. It was something buddy. I made a donation from the flog and um, I got a thank you for that the other day. That was really sweet. Uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, okay. Have a nice Wednesday. Um, although you'll not get this till I don't know when because I've got some in the pipeline. Um, <clears throat> or maybe one in the pipeline, I can't remember. So you'll get this eventually. Thanks for watching.